afternoon, junior high. Today is Melon Monday, August 26th. Welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Adam. And hello, I'm Jeremiah. We're so excited to be here on today's video announcements. Now let's please and stand and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all and please be seated. Now over to our clubs and activities announcements. Hello, I'm Abby. And, uh, hello, I'm Robert. Soar with respect, responsibility, and safety, and creative problem solving. Now, an important message from our assistant principal, Mr. Meyer. What's up, fam? Mr. Meyer here. Let's go over some expectations so lunch and recess are brat all year. Waiting to be dismissed to recess. Very demure. Very mindful. Throwing all your trash away before going outside. Very demure. Very mindful, very polite. Staying off the grass. It's already uneven and struggling to grow. Very demure, very mindful. Stopping the, we were just playing, touching each other. Very demure, very mindful, very cutesy. Putting the recess equipment away. Very demure, very mindful. Following all those rules, major or uh, I'm being so real. If we can't follow these expectations, we won't have recess, for real, for real, no cap. Don't forget, we have math testing coming up this week, and I know you're all thinking, bruh, it's giving Skibbity Ohio Riz, but I know you're all gonna leave no crumbs. That's all I got for now, fam. Have a bustin' week, Millennial Coded out. Thanks, Mr. Meyer. Also, for today, if you haven't already done so, students during Flexbell, Please turn off your laptops all the way so that it updates. If you have any issues on testing day, you should go to the media center. We'll have a special schedule tomorrow and Wednesday. See here, we test in the morning within our testing locations from 8.10 to 10.26 a.m. and then go to bell 1 and 2, then 5th bell. After 5th bell and lunch, we continue to 3rd bell, then 4th, 6th, and 7th. So basically, we swap third and fifth bells. Got it. Thanks. Now, message from our counselors. Hi, Sycamore students. The deadline for schedule change request is tomorrow, Tuesday, August 27th. These requests are limited to having an error in your schedule or the desire for an elective change. All requests to change a schedule after Tuesday may be denied. You can email your counselor or stop by the counseling office to discuss potential changes. Again. Tomorrow is the deadline for any schedule changes. Hey, it's clubs and activity announcements time. Ball play! Are you ready to step into the spotlight? Join us for exciting auditions for upcoming junior high play, a night of comedy. Whether you're a seasoned performer or just looking to try something new, we want you to be part of the magic. We want several hilarious junior high students to audition. Come to the info meeting today after school that's Monday, August 26th, from 3.15 to 3.45 p.m. in the choir room to learn more. Also, today after school is the first after-school robotics meeting. The first okay. Tech Challenge Robotics teams will meet Monday, August 26th, after school in room 1101. Any questions, see or email Ms. Jarvis. SSC, Sycamore Singing Company. Sycamore Singing Company's first audition clinic is tomorrow after school. That's Tuesday, August 27th from 3.15 to 4.45 p.m. in the Junior High Choir Room, room 1153. If you cannot attend the clinic, email Mr. Callahan ASAP for more information. Here is that link for the SSC audition materials that will be found on the Sycamore Singing Company Canvas page. You can access it starting tomorrow, August 27th, using this link. Junior High Beach Bash! Registration and getting donations for the Junior High Beach Bash on September 20th this year. Are you ready for this? Guess who won, guess who won last week's Junior High Fundraiser Rocket? Who? You? No. I wish. But Lillian and she won, and there will be three winners drawn this week. So. I better make sure that my parents have registered me and I get my donations in for my family and friends to improve my odds to win. 
Of course, that depends on how many eligible students I'm working with in the drawing. Yes, be sure your parents and guardians register you on PledgeStar and send out donation asks. Tell your family and friends that the money raised by the Junior High PTO fundraiser is essential to support student clubs, art programs, junior high sports, teacher appreciation, end of the year celebrations, the Aviator Bash, and more. These programs will not happen without our support. The goal is to raise $50,000 and the 7th graders have almost doubled the 8th graders' donations. Wow, 7th graders, keep up the great work. Again, here's the QR code to link your parents to Pledge Start to get registered and start getting your donations. Now over to our flight crew for a special announcement. I'm Dylan and I'm Delaney and we're here with the flight crew. The flight crew's mission is to build a school environment where all students wake up inspired to learn, feel safe, and go home feeling fulfilled at the end of the day. Flight crew is a smaller club that helps make the school better for students. There will be an application so that you can join, but there will be more info on that later. If you have any questions, email Mr. Rodriguez at rodriguezd at sycamoreschools.org. Thank you. Thanks, flight crew. Next, we have an important announcement from our athletic director and dean of students, Mr. Stern. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Uh, Mr. Stern, Dean of Students and Athletic Director here. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Hey, want to talk about a couple of things that occurred last week. And uh, kudos to you. Uh, you guys really showed up to our games last week. And it was extremely impressive. Um, we had big wins last week. Um, our gold volleyball team, uh, you know that they had that big match opening season uh, match against Mason. Um, you guys came, you guys were loud, you certainly rattled them, and uh, we won both games in straight sets, and that doesn't really happen to Mason very often. So that was fantastic. You guys definitely played a role in that. Also, a uh, big football game last uh, Thursday. Um, you guys showed up in droves as well. Uh, many of you came on your own. Some of you guys came after your practices, um, but we had a massive crowd and a big 6-0 win uh, for the 8th grade uh, football team. Uh, they scored late. They had a big defensive stand at the end, and uh, it was thrilling to see all of you guys there. So we definitely want you to keep coming to our games. We definitely want a home field advantage, and we have definitely built that in. So talking about a home field advantage and what kinds of things we like to see, and there are things that we don't like to see. So what do we like to see? We like to see you there. We like to see you being loud. We like to see you having fun. Uh, we definitely saw those things. What do we not want to see? So let's talk about a couple of things um, that we definitely need to improve upon. And uh, these are areas that definitely could have consequences to you as well. One. It should never be personal. So if you're making a comment to somebody on the other team, um, that's going to be personal. So we are there to support our own team. Um, and by supporting our own team, we can certainly rattle the other team. But nothing personal. If you hear a coach yell at one of their players and use their name, you are not to then, for example, use their name um, to yell at a player on an opposing team. So. You know, no matter what we do here at the junior high, when we have our home field advantage, we always want teams to leave and say, man, that's a really tough place to play. But what we don't want them to say is, that's a really tough place to play, and they're mean. We never want people to leave thinking Sycamore Aviators are mean students, because that, that's not who we are, and um, we want to make sure that we are always uh, classy uh, with our opposing team. So, and, then, and that's also on the field. So we definitely don't want to see our athletes um, getting into uh, verbal altercations with other uh, teammates, uh, sorry, not teammates, but people on the other team. We never want to hear you talking to a ref. That is an absolute no-no. And uh, another thing that really falls under class, we don't want to hear profanity. So never want to hear profanity, definitely from the stands, but we don't want to hear that from our players as well. These are all things that the other team sees, and they walk away and say, you know what, 
Sycamore, those people, they're not classy. We don't want people to think that of us. Hey, we've got a couple of big games starting at the beginning of the week. We would love to see you there. Girls and boys soccer, uh, they've got games today. Uh, they are playing Walnut Hills. And our green volleyball team, they are playing Nagel. So if you have nothing to do after school today, help make that home field advantage. Come out, see our soccer team. Come out and see our green volleyball team as well. All right, have a great day, Aviator Nation. Wow, thanks, Mr. Stern and Sycamore Junior High. Make great choices choices, and show positive team spirit. Go Aviators and make sure to represent our school the PBIS way. Next up. Next up. Birthdays. birthdays. Happy birthday to all those celebrating today, including Kobe L. And now for the joke of the day. Which bear is the most condescending? I don't know what. A panda. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> a panda. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> be the best extraordinary person that you can be, Sycamore. Follow our PBAS expectations every day. Have a great day, Sycamore, and go, go A's! A's!